Okay, guys. So this resource is going to show you how to do the lettering portion um, for the, with the mixer brush that you'll be doing for your your final product. So read through all of this and watch the video as well in your resources overview of the mixer brush tool and settings to get a, a better idea of how the mixer brush is operating or you can go back up to ch checkpoint three as well i covered a little bit there as well okay so the first thing you want to do is go to google do a high resolution image search put in something like abstract colorful art and you're going to pretty much find something along the lines something like this just something that has a lot of colors going on in it that you can use and then you are going to open up photoshop all right the this is a an example too of what you'll be doing with the final product is in masking it a little bit as well as how to use the mixer brush so i'm going to get my colorful background here that i got off google you want a high resolution one this one's kind of low re resolution compared to this photograph in the background which is why it popped in pretty small here but i can go ahead and make this large and it's going to work okay all right i'm going to raster well that won't actually matter okay so i'm going to create a new layer here i'm going to go ahead and hide this bottom one because whenever i go to my mixer brush and i have sample all layers i don't want it to sample this one i'm just wanting to work with this colorful one here Okay, first thing to remember when you're before you work with the mixer brush tool is you want to have a hard, fully hard brushing brush setting. So check up here in your hardness, make sure it's all the way up to 100%. Then the second thing you want to do is go to window brush settings and you want to make sure spacing is unchecked. We don't want any spacing uh, going on. So just uncheck that. Okay, and then uh, with a clean brush and these settings, um, we can have this at 100%. 100% across the board, sample all layers. You're going to very carefully, I'm going to use uh, the word Israel with my picture as my final product. And you're going to very carefully type out, not type out, but draw out. Um, you know, the, each of the letters and do them each on their own separate layer. So let's do that here. Now I'm going to click and drag. When you do this, don't do it all in one click, right? I'm doing it here in multiple clicks. And if, you know, you draw a letter, it doesn't quite look good. You can just hide this to see kind of how it looks. And uh, then you can always hit Command Z to redo it a little bit until you get something that looks a little bit better. I think that'll be okay. Create a new layer. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that one. And do my S here. I'm really bad with S's, so I might have to do that one again. It's okay if it's bigger than the than the eye, because we're going to make them all about the same size. I still don't like that S, so I'm going to redo it again. I'm doing this with the mouse, so have a little patience with yourself. And, uh, you know, you might have to do it a few times until you get a letter in the way that you like it. That's pretty close. Especially with an S. Okay, we'll go ahead and move forward with that one. Do the R. Again, notice how I'm not doing this all in one click, right? I did that, and then this one, and then I'll go ahead and do this. And you can be a little bit fancy with it, you know, with your R's a little bit. Think about how the word will look. It's ra. Get some blue in the A. There's one. There's a second click, and then third one right there. I think that looks okay. And then L. 
let's get some orange and blue for the E. Now you just want a lot of different colors going on in here because we're going to be adding a gradient map to this so it doesn't ultimately, it's not going to look the way it, it will look um, once we have everything together and all the letters lined up. So it'll look much better, I promise, when we add the gradient map to it and we uh, continue to experiment with it. I'm going to do my L a little bit differently. So let's do maybe something like that. There we go. Okay. So now I can turn all of these back on. Uh, go back to my move tool. I'm going to hold shift, select all of these um, letter layers, and then go to my free transform, command T, and just make them a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to start placing them in the right order. Maybe overlapping some is raw. So I have to make the R a little bit bigger. So Command T. And I think I want the R maybe behind the S. Yeah, there we go. So raw. There's the A. I have the A here. It needs to be a little bit bigger. Command T. Get it about the right size. And if you want size guides to kind of help you, you can go up to View and then go to Show and... Oh, no, sorry. Just go to Rulers. And your rulers will pop out. Now, you can just drag out these rulers. So if I is about... Or maybe about that big... Which means I need to click on my eye, make it a little bit bigger. That's good, that's good, A is good. Is Ra, go to my E. E fits in there pretty good, but it could probably be a little bit bigger. There we go. And I want the E, I think, behind the A. There we go. In order to fit the L in there, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these to make them a little bit smaller. I can always resize it again. Now I'll go to my L. I think, you know what, I think I'm going to redo both my L and my I. Because I just don't like the way they are looking. Before I do that, I'm going to select all of these and put them in a group. And hide that group. Create a new layer. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my eye again here. I uh, just didn't like the way it turned out. That looks worse. We'll get it. This is, as you can see, it might take you a few tries. So you get something that you looks good to go on with. Okay, that's better. And now I think I'll just do a regular L. Maybe some of this up here. It's a darker color. There we go. Okay. I'll take both of these, throw them into the group. There we go. the eye first, make it smaller. Yeah, okay. And the L. Okay, there we go. You can always mess with those a little bit later. Now I can get rid of this. I don't need it anymore. This is, uh, for the checkpoint, this is all you need to do is, in a group like so, type out each one of these letters um, with an abstract background and then arrange them like so. And 